Assalamualaikum. Hi, I am Smriti from Learn Flutter with Smriti. Are you ready to learn with me? Let's do it. And today's tutorial, we are talking about Note Applications UI and Add, Update, Delete functionality. First, let's do design, then we will apply logic to implement create operation. Note screens and edit note screens. Basic design done. Now let's apply logic. I am added a final boolean variable, a variable for note model class and the integer variable. Now let's initialize all variables in a constructor. As we set new node variable required, we have to add this variable whenever we will call edit node screen widget. I am set its value true so that every time create a new node whenever we will press add button. Now let's add here condition if widget dot new node it means if new node true will be show new node. Otherwise, will be show edit note. We can see new note if we said it's false. We can see edit note. In scaffold widget, I'm added body property, its child property, I'm added form widget to add text form field. I am added form key to give validation. Now add the key in form widget, its child, I am added column. I am created a stateless widget. It's child, I'm added text form field. And now let's add the widget in main widget. Now we can see text field, some height. I am added text controller for this text field. Initialize it in a constructor. In controller, I am added title controller that we created earlier. As we said, it's a record variable. We have to add this variable whenever we will call the widget. So let's add the variable.
let's create one more like so I added a simple validation if hello empty then we'll we show some text in floating action button property I am added expanded floating action button in that i am added its background color icon level in text widget i am added a condition which we given in about title property if new node true we will be show add otherwise we will be show update it's on pressed function i am added first form validation if new node true it will be take add event In title, I am added text controller dot text to retrieve the string that the user has entered into the text field. Otherwise, we will be take edit event. If new node true, we will be take add event. Otherwise, we will be take edit event. Then I am added navigator dot pop method to get back to not screen. If the user has not filled out text fields, error message to be displayed. If we provide some text or not be displayed error anymore. As we get an error, before perform the action, we need to provide node block in main function and UI's parent widget.
now we have to define all states to get current state and rebuild the ui i am added a block builder its type i am added not block whenever state is initial will be return container whenever a state is your node state will be return node grid that we will create later whenever state is loading it will be return container if nothing happens then we will be return container i am created a stateless widget for node grid as we can see state is required we have to add this in node grid widget I am added state variable. Now let's initialize it in a constructor. It's a return statement. I am added grid view builder. It's item count. I am set nodes length. It's grid delegate. I am added cross axis count child expect ratio main axis spacing cross axis spacing in item builder i am added node card in that widget i am created constant content and title i will add a field for note in that I am set nodes index we have to add string wrap property now we can see one node created let's create one more I will add physics for scrolling. To update note, I am wrap the note card with inkle. It's on tap. I am added navigator.push method to navigate edit node screen i am set it false so that cannot create new node we can see edit node and update button here but we didn't find the text here we have to update its text controller Here I am set title if node not null it will be show node's title otherwise it will be show empty and same for content body Whenever we will leave the edit screen should be display alert dialog. Let's add it. I am created a feature function and its type I am added boolean and its function name. In that function first I am added a condition. In return statement I am added show dialog. I am added context. 
in builder function i am added alert dialog and then i am added title content i am added action property to add yes and no button here i am set false so that not to back to note screen and true for back to note screen otherwise i am set false it means on not show alert dialog if nothing happens return statement will be true to add the function i am wrap the container with oil pop scope in that i am added on oil pop property and added a return statement and then i am added a function that we created earlier To delete a note, in Inkel widget, I am added on long press function. In that, I am added show dialog context builder function. In builder function, I am return a widget. Let's create the widget. I am created a stateless widget. In that, I am added a final integer variable as its record. Now, initialize the variable in a constructor. If you add final variable, you must have to initialize it in a constructor. I am return a alert dialog widget. In that, I am added title. In actions property, I am added two buttons, yes and cancel. It's on pressed function, I am added delete event. It's on pressed function, I am added navigator pop method to back to note screen. If we long press, alert dialog will be show. If we click cancel, we will still note screen. If you click yes, note will be delete. So this is the application for today. If my content helpful, make sure to subscribe my channel. Thanks so much. Stay tuned.